Good morning and welcome to our program. I'm your host Katie Jones and today we will be going over fired alcohol ink art. First we're going to talk about our supplies. So what you need is a picture frame. You can get it from the dollar store or anywhere that it's super cheap. It doesn't have to be fancy. And then you need alcohol ink or you can use Sharpie and some other things that we'll talk about. And then you need 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then an eyedropper, Q-tips, or a spray bottle. And then you need a stick lighter and clear spray paint to finish it off. So we're gonna get started. It's super fun, it's kind of abstract, and I hope you enjoy. So first thing, take your frame, and we're going to take the glass out of it. So carefully just remove it, lift your little notches up. All right. Yeah. Sometimes it just gets stuck in there. You can always use like a screwdriver if you have one, or you can take and take even a butter knife. I'm just kind of pushing up on them a little bit and working the glass out of the frame. Sometimes it's just a little tricky. There we go. Okay, perfect. So you can just set that to the side. And I just put aluminum foil down today so that um, you can see it a little bit better and just in case I don't want to get it on our tablecloth. So this glass is super dirty, so I'm just going to clean it. You can use glass cleaner or you can just take some of your handy dandy alcohol, just kind of wipe it off to get it ready for your artwork. I'm just going to wipe it off. Clean both sides. And it'll be beautiful and ready for the next step. All right. Okay, so now you want to pick out your colors for your piece of art. And I'm gonna use three today. And I used three in my nice little example right here. Or I think I actually did four. I got a little crazy with it. But I would recommend using colors that um, vary a little bit. You can use monochrome if you want to. Or I like three different colors, the cool color family. So I'm gonna use those today. You can use a lot of colors, but just be careful because sometimes when you use a lot and then you mix them together, it might make brown. So just be careful. So I have green, blue, and purple. And I've already taken, and when you get the alcohol inks, they are sealed. So I just cut the little tip off with a pair of scissors and it'll be ready for action. Okay. And the other thing, like these have different scents or fun stuff, um, but I just got these off the internet, pretty cheap, and you can use them for anything. You can use them for resin, or you can even do this technique on tiles. So super fabulous and fun. So I'm just gonna take and start. I'm gonna put drops of the colors all over my little glass piece. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just do something that makes your little heart happy. Katie, we have a question from the audience. Oh, perfect. We have our first question. Uh, they're asking what they can use if they don't already have alcohol ink. Yes. Okay. So on my supply list, I had the question, or I had Sharpies. And that's in case you do not have the alcohol inks. 
you can take and use Sharpies and the alcohol. It'll be pretty similar. Sometimes you get more streaks with that, but it's a good alternative if you don't have these. And I know sometimes you can get pretty good coupons from some of the stores. They're not expensive, but they're not the cheapest. So if you are looking for a deal, definitely look that up. So I've just filled my eyedropper with some rubbing alcohol. And this is okay, but I want my colors to spread out a little bit. So I'm just gonna drop it in place. And my colors are gonna start to resist a little bit and blend together. Make those little cells. And now's the fun part. So this is cool. And I'm gonna take and I kind of like that, so I'm going to take my stick lighter, hold it over it, and you can see it's on fire. So you let it do its thing. So cool. Okay, so I did that. I'm going to let it sit for just a second. All right. And you can kind of see the little cells and the color difference. And the cool part about this, I can keep adding on. So maybe I want some green right here. Drop it in. Maybe I want to do some more. You can just play with it. And if it just kind of drops on there. If you get it on your skin, it will kind of stain it a little bit, but you can use the alcohol to rub it off. It's not as permanent as like tie-dye, so it'll come off a little bit easier. So now I'm going to take and just drop it again. And you can even take and manipulate it a little bit. And... Now I'm going to take and light it again. Katie, while we're on fire, uh, we have another question from the audience. Perfect. What's that? Uh, they're asking about the alcohol content. You have 91% listed specifically. Is it okay to use something like a 70 or 60%? Everything that I've seen when I did my research had the 91%, so I would recommend using that, but you could always experiment. Um, that's just something that I saw, and I think that does give it more of a resist because of the stronger percentage, so I think it does help. So, I'm kind of happy with that. Or you can take, and if you don't like it at all, you can wipe it off before you seal it and everything will come off and you can try again. Or if you want more of like that flowy look, add more alcohol, manipulate it a little bit more. You can keep adding and you can kind of just drop it where you want it. I think I need more green there. Or add some blue. And I'm going to take a little bit more. So maybe I want it to be like pretty thin and flowy. You can certainly do that. And I'll just light it. And you can just keep going. Or you can add more colors if you want to start out with a few and then add on. Just kind of do it until it makes your heart happy. And I love this when you finish it off and put the white behind it because you can see all of your little cells pop out and see what you created. So I think I'm semi-happy with that. Let's see. You can use the piece of paper that came behind the picture or you can always cut like a piece of cardstock or a piece of paper to fit to size and then put it behind it. You can put another color if you want that, like a lavender or something pretty. 
and put that back there. And then you can even seal it or flip it over and put a little saying on it and make it say, you know, hello, gorgeous, or whatever makes you happy, whatever your little heart desires. So you do that, and then once you're happy with it, you're going to seal it. Um, I just had the frosted at home, but I would recommend using a glossy finish and seal it up really nice and make it beautiful so that it will stay forever. So, do we have any more questions from the audience, Adam? We do. Uh, there, this is again related to the alcohol ink. They're wondering if food coloring, like the liquid kind, would be an acceptable alternative. Food coloring, I wouldn't really recommend for this. It's not going to have the same reaction when you attempt to light it on fire because of the chemicals in the alcohol ink. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this program. If you try it at home, definitely share it and tag us on any of the social media outlets. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram, and definitely subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining us.